Hey, what's up, guys? I've got another animation uh, DVD series to show you. This is uh, The Critic, the complete series. It only had one season up. Uh, well, wait, actually, I think it had two seasons. Did it have two seasons? Yes, first and second season. Sorry, I thought it was only one season, but that's cool. Um, yeah, very cool. This this show um, was from 1994-95, yeah. Well, that same time that that Duckman series came out. Um, a lot of shows came out that time of year, that time, that time of year, that, that time frame, animated shows because of the popularity of The Simpsons. But this show, which actually did cross over with The Simpsons for one episode, was this an Fox show? Oh, it is? No, wait. That's a Columbian TriStar. Is this not Fox at all? There is an episode of The Simpsons that has them cross over, but I guess that's up in something else. But anyway, this is a series voiced by um, John Lovitz. Right? Yeah. Yeah, John Lovitz. And he's a film critic, and he hates everything. And it's on the same period, of course, copying the uh, Siskel and Ebert type look. And uh, it was, it was, I thought it was funny, but it was not, um, not very popular as, as far as I can recall. And of course, I remember, I watched it a lot more when I was older. Um, when I was younger, in 95, 94, I was, I was 11 years old, something like that. So I wouldn't have enjoyed this as much, but, um, as an adult or a young adult, I liked the show a lot, and I would watch it on reruns or see it on, uh, well, I guess reruns, I suppose, but uh, this show is pretty cool, I thought. But anyway, I got this um, uh, two-season slash complete series collection for about nine ninety nine or so, I think it was 10 bucks on uh, Amazon, and I honestly did not believe it was going to come in this big a box. I thought it was going to be just a regular old um, keep case with a couple discs in it, but um, this is cool, I guess. Um, I was not expecting it to be this big, but... Um, from the producers of The Simpsons. Uh, three discs. That's three discs in here? This seems like it should be like four or five discs. Hmm. Old packaging made it look like it was bigger. It's a DVD, of course, because there's no Blu-ray for this show. It's not that popular. Um, okay. It says right here, From the producers of The Simpsons comes this hilarious animated sitcom about Jay, a New York movie critic and cable, new, excuse me, cable television host. Pudgy and balding, Jay is not a well-liked man. His unsympathetic boss makes his life miserable, his ex-wife hates him, his adoptive parents barely tolerate him, and even the makeup lady treats him with disgust. Fortunately for Jay, he has his 11-year-old son Marty and one very unlikely friend, Jeremy Hawk, the Australian film hunk. John Lovitz. So yeah, Jeremy Hawk, that's actually kind of a Australian film hunk. That's a um, Crocodile Dundee, like mocking. So you can tell, again, what time period this is. It's in the mid uh 90s, so I think Crocodile Dundee 2 came out around that time. John Lewis provides Jay's distinctive voice as a single father who searches for happiness while satirizing life in the movies in this irreverent comedy. Disc 1 contains episodes 1 through 8, season 1. Disc 2 contains 9 through 13, from season 1, and 1 through 3 from season 2. And disc 3 contains episodes 4 through 10. Um, doesn't say anything about special features, so I guess there might not be any special features on this. So. The, the box, you can, as you know, if you can tell here, is kind of bent and broken up a little bit. In fact, I think every side is a little, a little dented. But um, like I said, I was not expecting this this, this um, packaging. I thought it was going to be a keep case. But uh, let's open it up and see what the damage is. Not that there's like a lot of damage or anything, but it's a saying. that it's kind of bent look at that it's kind of crushed yeah it's kind of lame i suppose i could ask for a placement but uh <sighs> on the shermometer and the shermometer sher shit shermometer this film rates as zero brr <laughs> basically hates everything i don't know if i said that already and there's Siskel and Ebert there. I think that's his mom. I don't remember. Disc 1, disc 2, and disc 3. There's actually a episode guide or something. This is just a... Just like the, this, this is more stuff that they're selling.
These are all the episode names. Oh shit. Yeah, there's no um special features or anything. Only 23 episodes total. Dilbert the Tick. The initial run, the Tick, right here. This is this was this aired on Fox in like 2002, something like that. 2004. I don't remember, but I, I, Patrick Warburton was the Tick, and uh, other characters who I don't remember the names of. Uh, but uh, I thought it was fun. But uh, the new version that's on AMC, on AMC, um, Amazon appears to be pretty good. I've only seen an episode or two of that. It sounded pretty cool, but I haven't uh, I haven't dived into that. A complete series on DVD. Like all those people. Hmm. Very 90s looking to me. Hmm. Talk about overusing a catchphrase. Yes, disc one. No scratches as far as I can see. No, it's good. This two. I need artistic stimulation. And then here's this three. Hey, I didn't come here for a free meal. Really? Oh, I make a joke about him eating, like, eating stuff all the time, too. Like, he's a big fatso. It's actually kind of in the same vein as, like, Homer Simpson. That's it. Pretty simple, I guess. I'm kind of wishing this was a just regular keep case. I don't like this is all busted up. I mean... It's just fine, I guess, but still. It stinks. That's his catchphrase. So that's it. I don't know if you can even see that. Whatever, let's just do that. There, the critic. Thanks for watching, guys, and stick around for more unboxings of like series and stuff. I got a couple more to do. So I will see you later. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around.